Back blows, back blows, and more back blows. What's up, 23% Nation? Coach D is back. That's right, guys. And this is part six of our great video series, How to Help a Choking Victim. So, guys, without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, so for those that have been following, guys, you know that we're doing this really cool video series about an unfortunate incident that happened during the 23% challenge. Now, just a quick recap. So, so far, we've actually uh, put together about five videos. This is actually the sixth video of this particular series. So in part one, we talked about a very unfortunate story of an individual who actually choked to death on a slice of pizza. In video number two, we then went into the definition of the word choking and what it really, really means. We then talked about how to assess someone, whether they are officially choking or not choking. In part four, we then talked about whether or not we should ask the person if they are choking or not. In part five, we talked about how to administer first aid, but we really didn't go into any details. Now, welcome to part six, where we're actually going to begin administering first aid through giving bag blows. That's right, guys. So today, this video is all about not only initiating first aid for our choking victim who unfortunately has a total airway obstruction, but guys, we're going to talk about exactly how to do it. So guys, get ready because this video is going to blow your mind. Okay, so step four in how to help a choking victim simply says give back blows. Now this is part one. There are a few more parts, so please hang on. Okay, so in delivering these back blows, <laughs> okay, guys, you want to make sure that, you're st that you stand behind the person and slightly off to one side. Now, let's be clear about these back blows. Number one, understand something that the person is actually choking. So in delivering these back blows, guys, you want to be sure that you're actually helping the person, not hurting the person. So as you are delivering these blows to the back, guys, deliver them forcefully, not hurtfully. I'll say that once again. As you deliver these blows, make sure you are delivering them forcefully, not hurtfully. Because remember, the ultimate goal is to dislodge whatever is stuck inside of the person's trachea. Okay. So now let's move on to part two of delivering these back blows. What's important is that we support the person's chest with one hand. We lean the person forward so that the object blocking his or her airflow will exit their mouth. Okay, so notice the picture. Notice that the person is bent forward. Notice that the person, their chest is being supported and the blows are being delivered Remember, forcefully, not hurtfully, okay? So here's what you want to watch for. As you are delivering these blows, remember, the purpose is to dislodge whatever may be obstructing the airflow. So in the case of our choking victim, we probably should be looking out for a piece of pizza or maybe a slice of pepperoni, uh, whatever toppings that could have been on that pizza. Uh, sometimes uh, when it comes to children, they may swallow small toys or maybe even coins. So whatever it is that is stuck inside of the trachea, we want to keep an eye out for that object. Okay, perfect. Moving on. Okay, so part three, administer up to five forceful blows between the person's shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. So guys, if we look at the picture, Okay, notice that the woman is standing behind the man. Okay, now she's using the palm of her hand to hit him between his shoulder blades. The reason why you want to aim for the shoulder blades is because 
anatomically speaking, between the shoulder blades is the same kind of sort of position of the trachea, okay? So if we're hitting the person from the back, then all that's that all that means is that we're now able to help this person dislodge whatever is obstructing their airflow. Okay, so now what's also important is that the number to remember is five, guys. It says to administer up to five forceful blows, all right? So what you may wanna do is after each blow, you may wanna check on the person, see if whatever was stuck is now unstuck, okay? So remember, the, the magic number is up to five forceful blows. Okay, part four of delivering the first stage of first aid is to pause after each blow to see if the blockage has cleared, like we just stated, all right? If not, give up to five abdominal thrusts. Now, remember, this is video six of our video series. In the next video, we will definitely get into the abdominal thrust, but for today's video, guys, the purpose is to simply instruct you how and when to deliver the back blows. So when it comes to the abdominal thrust, we'll cover those in video number seven. But once again, let's focus on the back blows. So as we are delivering these back blows, it is important that we look out for the piece of food, the toy, the coin, or whatever object that may be obstructing the airflow, we look and see if it has been dislodged. If it has, then obviously we can stop delivering the back blows. If it hasn't, then try a few more times, maybe ask the person. If not, then we have to move forward to the abdominal thrust. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna let you know that the first stage of administering first aid for a person who has a total airway obstruction is to deliver up to five forceful, not hurtful, back blows. If that doesn't dislodge the object, then we wanna move forward to the abdominal thrust. So, the abdominal thrust will most certainly be covered in our next video, so please hang tight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Coach D. I wanna thank you for watching. I definitely wanna thank you for listening please like the video, please subscribe, and hey, write Coach D a comment. Myself, along with the hundreds of thousands of people that are in the 23% Nation, guys, we want you to share your thoughts. And of course, we always have a question of the day in order to facilitate a comment, right? So guys, check it out, and I hope you were listening. So here's our question of the day. How many bag blows should be given to a choking victim? Now, I just covered that. It's a very, very easy answer. I'm not going to give it away. So feel free to rewind the video and listen to it. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Coach D of the 23% Challenge. Always remember, be blessed and Coach D loves you. And please hang tight because part seven will surely come soon. Take care. Goodbye. Be blessed.